Hello and welcome back to Duvo with me, Bon Bon B. I'm Bon Bon B. You're very, very welcome. Well, this is the Anglo-Franco city build, which has no Franco in it. Yes, it's English and French inspired. Uh, there's a background story to that, which I'll cover fairly soon. But first of all, let's leave Emberton. We've been concentrating on Emberton. This is the more modern uh, residential housing estate uh, on uh, this part of the island here, the Start Square area. And we're gonna go to the older part of town. And where would that be? Any ideas? Well, it'd be over at the harbour. And this is going to be the original harbour area before the more modern expansion. And uh, yes, we're going to be using some older continental style buildings. Hurrah! Finally! Now, this is just going to be the start of this area. So uh, don't expect huge growth in this, this area today. Now, I'm saying continental style buildings because although this is like the French Quarter, these assets down below were just too good not to use. I oh, Just look how good these are. These are beautiful. This is uh, uh, an asset pack by Epic Lurker. Now, when I saw this on the on the uh, workshop, this was it. I was just sold instantly. It had to be a part of Duvo. It's called the Amsterdam Shopping Arcade, and those very prudent people amongst you will probably be aware that Amsterdam is not actually part of France. I know, right? <laughs> yes, obviously, Amsterdam, a very famous, very famous city in Denmark. No, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. The Netherlands, of course, the Netherlands. So, uh, yeah, anyways, um, it doesn't matter because the architecture is of a similar kind of style. It's the northern continental style that uh, you get ver uh, variances across, obviously, in there. Yeah, we'll be using a lot of um, Jez's uh, Paris uh, uh, assets. And uh, yes, this, this though, this had to be used, especially with it being such a great feature asset uh, on the on the, um, on the the harbour mouth. Right on, yeah, just a real focal point. And I loved it. So that's what we'll be doing today. I'm going to be pre-building a lot of different things and then using Move It to drag them over and making the roads fit around them. I've got a general idea of exactly where I'd like the roads to be, where I'd like them to go, but uh, it's just a general idea. And as you'll see at the end of today's episode, I haven't quite got it exactly right yet. Um, the, the uh, yes, the, the, the arterial road, the connector road, to the uh, yeah that's that's gonna that's gonna have to be rebuilt really don't like it but uh, we have I haven't built it yet <laughs> you'll see me build that later on and spend a little bit of time on it uh, it's, it's quite embarrassing once you see yourself building something and you know you know that it's so bad that you yourself are going to be deleting it and rebuilding it in the near future so anyway this would be um, the first section this is uh, yeah, the, the main shopping arcade. It's gonna go down on the seafront, copy the whole lot, drag it over, and find the location right roundabouts here, very roughly roundabouts here. So yes, this is gonna be the first part of here. We've I've got uh, I've got an idea for how this is gonna be laid out. And uh, it's gonna we're gonna get a little bit of blend between slightly taller buildings, like these ones. I mean they're not suit, they're not skyscrapers, clearly not skyscrapers. But they're 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 some strong statuesque, um, bold buildings. Do kind of like that. That's a good look. Uh, then we'll get a little bit of blend as we go through sort of like more. Um, well, this won't be today, mind mind you. This won't be today. <laughs> We're going to be have a, a very uniform block today of um, like the the old town centre. And then some of the newer buildings will come in a little bit later on. Uh, around the edge. Uh, I'm going to include a little uh, like a restaurant sector and such. Uh, these these buildings here, I think, I think this is the French Flat Pack 5 Parry by Jez. Now, uh, you have to forgive me for this. I originally grabbed these buildings, well, months ago, months ago with the intention of using them. And uh, I can't tell you which one is which. I'm pretty sure, though, I've had a little look, and I think that that is definitely the uh, French Flat Pack 5. Now, alongside it, you'll see this lovely little park. And one of my favourite park creators, ploppable park creators, on the workshop is Core 79. Core 79 is just quality. Just quality. And uh, it's it's a shame that, well, ploppable parks aren't really a big part of the... Uh, 
of the advanced game. I'm going to get the advanced game rather than the vanilla game. Obviously, in the vanilla game, there are huge parts, but in the advanced game, not so sure. Uh, oh, yeah. Now, th this pack here, I don't... Obviously, Jez, again, but I can't tell you exactly what this pack is. I like it, though. <laughs> I like it. Has to be used. But anyway, now, that park was the Park Veg, or Park Weg, as uh, 4 by 6 by Call 79. So if you want to grab that and use that in your city build, do that. Uh, Call's got a whole bunch of parks, and I've no doubt I'll be using another one or two of them at some point in the city build. But that seemed uh, the ideal park for the right in the middle of the uh, of the actual city area. But yeah, these look great. I uh, haven't got um, building ends on these ones. I'll look around here again. Will this fit? Thinking that would fit lovely, but it's just too short. And so... And so the only answer I had was actually using the buildings that we've used previously. These will fit exactly. Now I know there are other buildings I could have used on the workshop, but these are just the pre-selected ones. And I wasn't gonna go back online hunting for more. And as these work fine, and would definitely work with what I'd already plopped down in the city, I was quite happy with that. I think the overall look is, is pretty solid. And bring these over here and we'll plop one of these down over here and then maybe an identical one uh, alongside it so yes just trying to work out the exact layout and the exact directions of the buildings now uh, one thing you will notice when we get to the roads uh, i'm talking when i put the roads down i'm thinking more about the exact road placement rather than the specific road assets that I've got in mind in terms of also um, like lighting. Now, I'm not entirely sure what building this is. I think that's a find build, build a find build building. That's easy for me to say. And then alongside it is definitely one of uh, Jez's. These are definitely Jez's uh, French flats. Jez has got a huge selection of French flats. I mean, yeah, well over 50 at the time of recording. And no doubt there'll be more to come because they are just prolific. So anyways, uh, yes, I wanted to do something uh, a little bit non-uniform. And so this was my first bit of effort. I wouldn't be entirely surprised if um, this is all going to be uh, thrown away uh, early in the, uh, uh, the continued city build as I basically grab a whole bunch of new assets over the next week or two uh, for the expansion of this area. So I wasn't even sure exactly where I would want this to go, but just trying to get a feel for how this the whole thing would work together. You never know till you start fiddling, do you? And uh, I think it would definitely, definitely come together at some point. So yes, uh, here's me tweaking. So uh, I'm gonna, uh, yes, roads. I was talking roads, wasn't I? So yeah, the roads, when I put them down, these are just uh, me being generic. I, I thought at first, I know exactly what I want. I want them all to be avenues, so. Uh, I grabbed an avenue and plopped the avenue down. The thing is, I think a lot of these roads are going to be too narrow for avenues because you've got the the trees on either side. So you'll see me popping down the same roads all throughout, and uh, the connector roads on the side. I wanted the avenues like running um, across the city, and these connector roads being just regular, regular straightforward roads. But yeah, I feel that the the, um, the avenues need to be a little bit wider. So you'll notice me a little bit later change the avenue roads into something a little bit uh, less tree-like, <laughs> tree-lined even. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's the thought process with that one. In the end, I end up with just the one avenue. I'm probably going to upgrade the roads, arguably downgrade the roads to something possibly cobblestoney. I know there's plenty of decent cobblestone roads out there and that would fit much better with the aesthetic of the area as well and the street lights as well at the moment we're using the street lights that are just the uh, the generic ones that uh, are within the within the vanilla build and i'm definitely going to be looking at upgrading those to something a little bit more uh well, french <laughs> and jez has got a great french uh, lamp pack out there that uh, we'll be able to use one of those yeah, move it's going to be better for moving this, I think. So let's grab that and budget. Now, aligning this, uh, a, a light, first of all, I was lining it with a road. I thought, no, I need to align this with the middle, the middle of the Amsterdam shopping centre. That is definitely the way that's got to go, isn't it? Definitely. And then we'll put a road in here and we'll use move it to align everything up in a moment. And I'm quite happy with the overall, the end look, I think. 
Yeah, I should just, just, yeah. Rebuilding roads, I think. No, no, no. It's definitely a move it thing, isn't it? Definitely. Grab the two nodes, roll them in. Grab the two road nodes, roll them in again. Yes, it's uh, it's been a long while since I've had a proper city build. This is the first time I've done a detailer style build. The uh, the last the last city build I did, I think, was Lynchia, and that was more of a novelty build. If I'm honest with you, it was um, it was <laughs> immediately before what map started. I was looking for a map to build on, and I couldn't find a good one because well, you, you know what the the uh, workshop is like for actually finding decent maps. It's a hell absolute hell and i found this map called lynchia and i really was very fond of it realism be damned it was very much um a, a crazy well not even a fantasy I mean, sort of a fantasy map it was definitely uh a work of fantasy anyway and so i started work on that thinking that this was going to be my big break in youtube and uh, it really wasn't it really wasn't. Although I've got to say that uh, one of my favourite episodes of anything I've ever done was one of the Lynchia ones, and that was the uh, Infinity Loop Interchange, which was a uh, yes, um, like a figure of eight type interchange. I was I'd spent ages on that one. I was really quite pleased with it. But yes, uh, looking at uh, what I was what I created back then, ah, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't the best. It wasn't the best, but I had, had a lot of fun doing what I did at the time. But now, obviously, I've moved on, everybody else has moved on, and we have got now a detailer style build, which there we are. The road through there, I need to move that block again, aren't I? <laughs> Everything is like, ah, oh, I need to make more room, I need to squeeze it all in. It will all squeeze in in the end. So, yes, yeah, so what we do over the next, um, next couple of weeks, do a little bit of work on this area. Um, flush out the French quarter a bit. If we get a bit of residential demand, I'll go back over to Emberton and expand on the residential over there. We've also in Emberton, we've still got to do the um, the what's the word? There's a park, a park area. Know exactly what I want to do with that park. And there's also um, a road which I uh, a residential road there which I haven't completed, but uh, that's still to do as well. So there's still jobs to do over that part. And then there's a little um, a little detail that I want to pop in, but I, I can't pop it in until we've flushed out this French Quarter a little bit. And uh, that will connect up, give a, a footpath connection between this uh, the old French Quarter here and uh, and Emerton High School. But I don't want to I, I don't want to start on that until we've fleshed out this part. I don't think it'll take too long to do. It's not the biggest area. Uh, it's just gonna be finding all of the assets to make the whole thing come together. Thinking, um, I'm thinking definitely uh, theaters, uh, restaurants, all that kind of area. Um, because this is gonna be, well, you're gonna come to, you're gonna come to Duvaux to come to the French Quarter to do a little bit of shopping and have a little, uh, little bit of a wander around. Other parts of the city build, I have got an idea for a, a holiday destination. I'm not going to say anything more than that right now. But if you, if those of you that know the map, the map, of course, is St. Catherine's Point, And it's my, my own work. Works with the Tides mod. Can't wait to actually get to a point that I can have the Tides mod running and we can uh, play with that. But that's going to be uh, an industrial area that's going to be involved with the Tides mod. Looking forward to that a lot. Um, how's this looking? I'm quite happy with that, I think. I think. There's a little bit of um, surface painting to get some concrete in there. Uh, so we've got footpaths all the way around the outside. That looks okay, I think. And I've got, uh, yes, these gaps on the end of these two blocks here that have got no, um, anyway, no park or anything like that. I've, I know exactly what we're going to be using in there. It's an asset by a creator. Haven't got it at the moment, but it's an asset by a creator I've got a lot of respect for. And I will plop those in uh, in next week's episode, so watch out for that one. Great little park units. Now, this road, I did promise you that I I, I put a lot of thought into the road, and then I was um, I, I kind of disgraced myself at the end. I just like was not happy at all with any of this work. What you're looking at now, well, none of this is going to be. So th th this bit's going to be fine. <laughs> that bit's going to be fine. We're cropping all that back, and we're going to switch to um, a, a more 
a more suitable road for this part of the town. But the connector road, the uh, arterial road is, well, I don't like it. I didn't like that junction. So yeah, you, you're looking at a lot of work now, which is not gonna stay. It's just not gonna stay. Even though you see me rebuild it all again, it's just not good and i have worked out what it was i didn't like about it as well so as of um next week i'll probably actually uh rebuild this part of the road network again or at least the connection up here and look to connect it in properly over the coming weeks uh as and when the city builds into that area and we can see exactly where the roads are going to need to go but yes i'm struggling so badly so, so so badly i think i recorded this very very late at night actually and uh yeah oh hello encroaching foliage can't be having any of that now can't be having any of that now right so yes yeah, so i'm going to trim back those roads and uh, change the 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 whole that roundabout is now gone there's going to be i'll say a high rise area but it's going to be quite a dense a dense area with um not say high rise mid rise buildings in that area um looking forward to getting into that it's going to be a little while before we can get into that area i'm just gonna to have to do a little bit of there you go oh glitch glitch out glitch oh no come on there you go behave yourself skylines <laughs> bomb bomb wants to play yes need this all connected up because we do have the power station down there and it will need um coal coming down to it put a few lane collectors in there as well and uh, just tidy that up a bit although like i say we will have to come back and uh, fix some of these bits a little bit later on as well okay sorted well that's about it for today um thank you very much everybody especially all those in the chat hi people in the chat <laughs> good to have you along all the usuals uh i think next week we'll we'll have to get some some new more naming done we've got one or two roads especially over in Emberton that are needing names and you guys are pretty good at naming things so I'll definitely be leaning on you for that so anyway I'm going to do a little fly through now of today's work it's uh, say far from finished a lot of detailing is still required to be done but uh, definitely getting the feel for what the uh, the French Quarter part of Duvo is going to be like this part obviously very uh, very uniform um, and very jazz <laughs> very nice anyway that's it from me thanks for watching for commenting for liking and for subscribing join me next week for more duvo and of course monday to saturday for what's map where we find you the best map for your next city build